money to you right now saying this is the decision that I made to stay alive with my purpose. I intend to hold on to the land and let it serve a purpose greater than just how can people who invested in the land get there, get the land. I don't think that's really what needs to happen right now. I think that we'll all take the lessons from this experience. Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the Unapologetic Negropian. In today's video, back to Ghana, back to the Bamboo Roots Collective. In the last video, I spoke about how I felt about the Bamboo Roots Collective long before this commotion actually happened. I took a look at the way the organization was structured and I said to myself, this thing is going to work. And with the strong spiritual and mental backing of a lot of middle-aged, they just seem to be in balance on the outside anyway. But as I have covered over the last couple of weeks, things weren't all as they seemed. Now, of course, having somebody in the organization behaving in the way that we saw, somebody who generally doesn't have any respect for anybody else other than himself, clearly having somebody like that at the helm of this organization was going to be a struggle. So the members of the board made a decision to try and get rid of him. However, there are now legal ramifications to the choices that they made. Board members are in a very difficult position because Ahmed Yahu Ben Yisrael was right at the center, which made him a critical component to all the inner workings of the Bamboo Roots Collective. The NGO is in his name. The land is in his name. The board members want to get rid of the man that owns the land that their communities are built on. So what are the options that the board members have at their disposal? How can they get rid of him? How can they perhaps even put him in a position where he can be a silent component of the organization with minimal influence? What are the choices that the management made that in hindsight perhaps could have been done differently? Well, we're gonna try and answer those questions today, but first I'm gonna ask you to please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification, and please consider supporting the channel on our Patreon link in the description. I'd also like to invite you to follow the Oversight channel, the channel that is there to help you to invest on the African continent both safely and securely. Link also in the description. Currently, what is the situation out there at the Bamboo Roots Collective right now as we speak? First, a brief recap. So the Bamboo Roots Collective is a cooperative of people from all over the diaspora, but mainly from the United States. They have a piece of land near the South Coast and they have built a community there. Most of the resources have been supplied by the people who are coming to live there. Some of them have not even moved to the community yet. However, they are helping from the diaspora with organizational matters, funding, and also with administration from the diaspora. The Bamboo Roots Collective was set up by their talisman, Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael. Now, as we know, Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael has been a rather naughty boy. There is a whole list of people who have had problems with Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael, some of them perhaps even potentially criminal. So the members of the board made a decision to actually get him out of the picture altogether. There were people leaving the Bamboo Roots Collective because Ben Yisrael was on that board. How ironic. This man, Ben Yisrael, was the reason why many people moved to Ghana in the first place. And once they got there, he became the reason why they left. He is a living, breathing oxymoron. Ametsiahu Ben Yisrael was the person who brokered the land in the first place through an NGO that he owns back in the United States. This leaves the members of the board in a precarious position because they want to get rid of him. They have got rid of him, but he does not want to release the land to them, the people who have developed it, the people who have poured their money their resources, their assets into the Bamboo Roots Collective. The people who have made the Bamboo Roots Collective, the Bamboo Roots Collective. Take a listen to this. There's a question in the chat. Um, Amat, are you willing to turn the land over to the collective and take it out of your personal NGO? No. Why is that when the collective pays for the land? The collective invested in CEIs and the collective invested in land clearing. The land was given as a gift to my NGO long before there was a BRC or any thought of BRC. So I will continue to manage the land at this point and I have taken a position to manage the progress at this point so it can serve as a revenue stream to start the process of reimbursing people. Uh, and 
I will not turn over the 24 acres at this time to anybody. And I understand the position that I'm taking. Of course, everyone is left to choose what they do from that point. So if the majority of the people choose for you not to be in the picture, how do you think it's fair for you to take the land that you promised them the membership? So, I understand. I understand. I really do understand. And I know that a lot of this is not going to be easy. I'm very aware of some of the tough decisions that we all have to make. Ahmet Siyahu Ben Yisrael is digging his heels in. He doesn't want to let go of that land. Now, there isn't any real reason for him to keep the land, for him to keep a hold of it. It's held through an NGO, but this NGO is owned by him. And he, there is precious little that he can do with the land as well. So why is he trying to hang on to it? I think it's just out of spitefulness. The NGO and the Bamboo Roots Collective are doing a good job. They don't need Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael in order to continue moving forward. And truth be told, if it wasn't for Ametsiyahu's disgusting behavior at the Bamboo Roots Collective, he would still be in a good strong position and people would love it. It's not the Bamboo Roots Collective board member's fault that Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael used assets from the Bamboo Roots Collective in order to make advances on women. He made these decisions himself. For those of you who are planning to build your own cooperatives, what are the mistakes that this organization made? How could the organization have been structured to better protect those people who are the board members? Well, to be honest, there is precious little you can do about finding out whether somebody is a sociopath or a psychopath or not <laughs> listen we're all black people live in the diaspora the vast majority of us are damaged goods okay and we're going back to the african continent in order to heal knowing that first off and foremost before you go back to a community where you know there are going to be other people who are going to be carrying emotional and psychological luggage that you are going to have to deal with because you're going to be in contact with these people on a daily basis. That is something you need to realize from the get-go. It will enable you to be more ready for when things do go wrong. I believe they call it planning to fail. I also think that spending more time with Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael before making that decision would have put people in a better position to have made a more informed decision about whether they want to go to the Bamboo Roots Collective or not. Yahu Ben Yisrael also mentioned that many of the board members were not in Ghana, that a lot of them were still working from the diaspora. Do you need a centralized system of governance in the Bamboo Roots Collective that is on the ground in Ghana? I think it helps, yes, but is it absolutely critical? No. Like I mentioned in the last video, I think it can actually be a positive if you need somebody that is there that's going to be making decisions that need a lot more logic and a lot more rational thinking we as a people are known for our pragmatism so ironically Ametsiyahu is probably right it's going to be difficult for these people to manage an organization from the diaspora if they have people like Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael, who is already on the ground causing trouble so what do I think that the Bamboo Roots Collective board member should do now I truly think that they should focus on being more strategic and start thinking about the long game. Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael is one man. He's not going to want to stay in Ghana all of his life and stand there frozen from the outside watching the Bamboo Roots Collective grow whilst he still owns the land through his NGO. He's going to want to move on at some point as well. And the Bamboo Roots Collective board members are in the position where they can kind of wait it out yeah they're going to have to deal with a lot of the legal technical bs that is going to be coming their way but like i said before a big team against one man because they are a team they have more endurance they can pass the baton from one person to another and they can focus on building the bamboo roots collective and allow certain other team members to focus on combating whatever ametsiyahu ben yisrael throws their way. Ametsiyahu Ben Yisrael has absolutely no sympathy and no remorse for everything he has done. 
He is highly committed, highly motivated, and he is now digging his heels in. It's going to be very difficult to remove him, so you need to focus on playing a strategy that he absolutely will not win at. Until the next time, please think twice to our bit.